Hey, what's happening, guys? Happy Monday to you. Unless you're a Rams fan. Sorry about that. So today we are talking about uh, the soft latching power switch. And there are two types of uh, soft latching power switches I've dealt with. Um, the first one we just call um, push on, push off. The second is push on, hold off. Now, any of these types of things are, you know, super easy to achieve with a microcontroller. But what if you want to turn your microcontroller on and off? Well, in that case, a really simple and easy way to do that is with a little bit of uh, CMOS circuitry. In this case, we're going to be talking about using a CD4011. The CD4011 uh, is a two input NAND gate. But in all honestly, all honesty, you could pretty much use just just about any ty type of CMOS um, logic circuit. Well, ones with a Schmidt trigger are particularly in fact uh, effective because you know you get that dead space in the middle. That works out really well but like i said any any type of, of a cmos type of a nand gate work um hex inverter open collector inverters nor gates i mean it, like i said it, it really doesn't matter but i'm familiar with the cd4011 so that's what we're going to talk about so let's draw Or two NAND gates for the this would be for the CD four zero one one, and this is um, good between three and eighteen volts. Okay, you with me so far? So we'll call this gate one and gate two. First thing we're going to do is we're going to join them together like so. And we need to put in our switch, which is going to come right here. This is, of course, a momentary switch. And then also right here, we are going to put in a capacitor and this capacitor is going to be one microfarad um, you, you do want it to be kind of large because I'll tell you in a minute what it's what its thing is for and it, it, it's an important I mean kind of runs the whole thing really and we're gonna put another capacitor over here and this this will be like a, we'll go point one microfarad on this one it doesn't have to be as large I drew right through that one, didn't I? And then we'll have a ground right there. And that is going to keep uh, this part of the circuit low initially. And that's kind of important. Okay, so from here, we're just going to put in a resistor, kind of. You know, limit our current there a little bit. Uh, 100K. And then we're going to do the same thing up above. And you'll notice something here. At least I hope you will. You see, if we talk about gate 1... And 
gate two. I hope that what you'll notice is that gate one contains capacitors, gate two contains resistors. Oops, and I made a mistake. One second. Okay, I redrew it to make it a little bit easier to see. So we have gate one here in the blue, gate two in the green. Gate one, which has these capacitors, especially this capacitor right here, which is going to keep this gate low initially. Oops, let me write that down here. So this capacitor is going to keep the gate low initially, but when you press the button, it's going to go high. And basically what we've done is we set up the, these NAND gates as kind of a flip-flop. So once it's high, next press it's going to go low. And it's just going to keep swapping back and forth between that. So there's an output there, but if we want to do this as a latching power supply, there's a little better way to do it by adding in a MOSFET. Let me show you that. Okay, so here is our earlier circuit, same as we drew before. And now up here we have a MOSFET. And we could say, you know, this side is our input power. And this side is our switched power. Okay. So if we draw like a line from here and a line from here, now depending on where we attach the MOSFET, this would be off. This would be on. So we could we could even implement, you know switch here as well that could either go adapt or auto on or auto off but basically yeah we're just going to connect like this and now when you switch this on and off you switch on the power on and off for the MOSFET um, which MOSFET to use me eh doesn't really matter as long as it can handle the power something perhaps like um irf 74 16 might work okay you know something along those lines but that's the way it works now that's one way to do it there are a million ways to skin a cat right all right guys i hope you enjoyed this little monday morning uh Monday morning educational video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.